welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of To the Moon with me. We need to head south to the street and take the other path to go to get down to it, though. Yeah, I forgot my parachute. Oh. Great. So I went up here for nothing. Fuck me, I guess. Now, well, let's go down to the street, then. Because the street. Twist ending this game is all happening in their minds, and they're actually dead. Oh no! My novelty beach ball! Someone broke it! Ah. Uh, it was stupid anyway. Sarah, you're a bitch. <laughs> but, but it's the bestest novelty beach ball I've ever had. Oh, who could have been so cruel? Uh, look, I'll buy you another one. No, don't do it! You will? Sure, but we kind of need to get going now. I'm guessing there was an option where you could have just pushed it out of the way. And what did you do? I poked it with a stick and blew it up. <laughs> <laughs> no, my novelty beach ball! I'm a, I'm a terrible person. It's smoking. Who's the dummy that crashed the car? Not me. <laughs> Pretty dark out. Aren't you kids scared? Of course not. We roleplay it anyway. We roleplay it away. What? Tommy's a super powerful knight and I'm a mighty magician. Yeah, we destroy all evil. Awesome. Oh, that's, uh, that's nice. Do you, do you roleplay too? Only in the bedroom. <laughs> oh! Uh, no. He's not cool enough to do it. Hey, I could if I wanted to. You children, watch. Are we gonna roleplay now? Is that what we're doing? Is that what we're free- That's a sleeping bird. I'm gonna wake it up. Oh, a squirrel. That's a squirrel? Oh. It's a squirrel. Oh, no. It's a terrible squirrel gone. What? doing that now? Oh Don't worry, children. I'll protect you. I'm fighting a squirrel? What? 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 What, what is this? I'm fighting a squirrel. Attack! Volcanic jump kick, whirlwind slap, Armageddon, <laughs> Armageddon fist, shoe. We're doing the shoe. <laughs> Yelling volume. Loud, <laughs> loud, loud. Loudest. Your uh, time is at an end, Squirrel Gone. Hiya! Stop it, or we'll tell my you animal abuse. Yeah, she'll call the cops on you. <laughs> what? I was just. I wasn't gonna. Didn't you say you like to role play? Drat, it is escaped. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You should have been ashamed of you self. Let's name it Teddy. <laughs> Teddy the squirrel. Let's just forget this happened. Uh Yay! Squeaking birds. Okay. So <laughs> that that was interesting. Don't worry, children, I will protect you! Okay. Her attire doesn't look that much like a, uh, a doctor, though, I might say. It looks almost like a priest or something. I don't know. Yeah, kind of, but it's got, like, yellow around the base of it. Hang on, let, let me turn it around. Yeah, it almost looks like it's got lapels or something. I don't know. Hold on. What is that over there? River E. Wiles. River Wiles. Was she jo John's what? Oh. Don't know. Come on, the lighthouse is right there. Okay. Weird. Oh, I guess it's not. That's helpful. Okay. 
Okay. Oh. Um. This is it. More bunnies. Seems like this hasn't been lit in years. Well, I guess there aren't many raves being held in a lighthouse. Hey -o. Ah, I'm terrible. <clears throat> it's a bunny on a <laughs> fuck you. A multicolored paper rabbit. Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Bum bum ba! Oh yeah, Johnny must have came here before he fell ill again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just in case my shouting desynced the shit. Yeah. This is the only one with two colors, huh? You know, these things actually look pretty hard to fold. Oh well, yeah, they're bunnies. Kind of an odd hobby, though. Interesting. It's Watts. What's up, Watts? Is everything ready? Alright, I'll be there. I'll be right there. Why do you have a creepy ringtone? Because it scares the monsters away. Come on, let's head back. Receive paper rabbit. All in green. Okay. I didn't learn that much about this old guy. I know he let. What the hell is that on his head? Oh, why don't you be late by another half an hour? Not like we got a dying client or anything. Why, what's your dick? We got caught up in something. Paper rabbits. I got caught up in something too. It's called our job. You're a bitch, Watts. Get off your high horse. I'm late. Just this one time and you milk it. Like a cow. At least tell me we're good to go. Milk it like a horse. Of course, we are because I'm competent. Milk it like a rat. Fuck you, Watts. Your helmet's on the couch. Chop, chop. Milk it like a jackrabbit. Wait, what? By the way, I'm curious. How does it work? Do you just write him another life like a novel? Alright, explain. No, we can't just make up new memories out of thin air. Then how do you do it? Not us. The machine does most of it. Naturally, since we aren't paid enough to get our hands dirty. In a nutshell, we simply travel through his memories to as early as possible. When we do, we would then transfer his registered desire of going to the moon to the reconstruction of the world and himself at the early state. With the help of a wiki, wiki of data and his own, the machine would then simulate a rerun. Huh. Except this time, he'll have the motivation of his registered desire with him all his life. So you'd be depending on him fulfilling his own wish by simply having the desire to? How could that be? Everyone has ambition for things, but most don't accomplish them. That's because in the real world, ambitions fluctuate and fade. People start things with passion, but eventually they lose the initial drive and slow down. But imagine if you locked that initial push through your entire life, never wavering. Oh, f Well, there goes that rest in peace candy wrapper. It's more powerful than it seems. That being said, no ambition's gonna help a dead man. We better get started. Oh, of course. Sorry. So wait, what do I do? Shit. He said my helmet's on the couch, but... Well, this is a bathroom. This isn't going to help the rest of the story. Uh, there it is. That's a couch. Initiate. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Okay. 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 Sup, you tone. Sweet, it's like Inception. 
Oh. Should be the last accessible memory. Disable speech for all except Johnny. Done. Let's get him. Anytime you can view your position in time by moving the mouse from the top of the screen. So, right now we're old Joseph Joestar. Uh, we gotta go until we get the young Joseph Joestar. Again, Jojo references. Oh, wow. Well, then. Go outside. Oh no. Let's see who's up here. Always gotta check your corners, Foist. Uh. Oh. Dr. Eva Roseline, Roseline, and this is Dr. Von Matterhorn, Dr. Lorenzo Von Matterhorn. That's Mr. Dr. Professor to you. Mr. Dr. Professor Patrick, Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Or are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Actually, you've already called us. Oh my. We're here to fulfill our contract for the relative future. Careful there, if you slip off the cliff, we're gonna have to reload this memory. Watch it, Neil. Show some respect. Eh, it's just a program now. I know, but this is his last accessible memory, and we need its cooperation. This comes to worst, we just reboot it. Why would you waste time like that? You... You okay? Not sure how he's going to take this. You're here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Yes, Bob. I suppose I had a good run. Not good enough, it seems. So can you do it? Can you take me to the moon? We can't, but you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? I don't know. It's fine, you can tell us. It's essential for helping us to get you to go there. Do you want the fame? The money? You got to have a motive. I'm sorry, but I really don't know. I just do. I can already tell that this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Wow, an actual swear in this game! <laughs> what a surprise. Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we will do. We need to get to your childhood, but it is too distant to do so in one memory hop. Thus, we will need to traverse through your memories with gradual backward leaps, which you've given us the which you've given us the permission to do in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in the childhood memories for direct access, we will return here. That's when you'll need to help us use the childhood to become an astronaut. Or to get on a giant catapult. Right, because that works. The point is, you'll need to have more to say than just, I don't know. As long as you can take me to the moon, I will cooperate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to leap to a memory, we need an item that is of importance to the inception. Can you put in an inception? Yeah, thanks. Every time, jump? every time we jump, yes, please. That's gonna be fun. 
Do you have a memento of some sort to get us started? That'll do. Oh, it's the rabbit! Ladies first. Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been fun, but I think you'll have to come back next time to see what happens. So, until then, stay interesting.